Where are you? Coming to me. There you are. Good, good afternoon. Let's just talk about that connection with uh, what we were seeing data-wise in the US over the weekend so to lead us to, to a reference point for this week. Very interesting. Obviously, we've seen a continuation of a rally in bonds as people have we've seen yields fall back. That was after the US Fed chose to leave their projected forecast of rate rises in place and didn't uh, increase that expectation. Um, data since has been pretty uh, pretty soft. So, you know, the 10 years is down to about 2.5%. That's only 30 basis points below the Aussie 10 years. So, pretty tight there at the, at the moment and pretty quiet as well, Carson. We do have, I counted them, 10 US Fed officials speaking this week. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them is Janet Yellen. She speaks on Thursday. So a lot of uh, commentary coming out of the US Fed. So uh, not surprisingly, mm -hmm. I think uh, people are sitting on their hands to see how that plays out. And it doesn't help when there's no e eco news to come out of the US <laughs> and basically swerve all of that chatter and noise off course, does it? I mean, if you wanted to clear the decks and say, let's have a data point that we can work off. Sorry, this week is not going to help you. There's a problem on bond markets like certainty. That's why, uh, you know, they haven't jumped on board of the uh, irrational exuberance we've seen in equity markets as well. And uh, you can see that in uh, the US 30-year rate, which is actually down at 3.1%. Mm -hmm. Really hasn't moved. Um, so you're right. I mean, uh, you'll get, get a lot of commentary, but uh, you're absolutely spot on. The market wants uh, data points and they want to see, uh, you know, how growth is performing, how inflation is performing. And it was very interesting because if you go across the Atlantic, you can compare contrast with what we're seeing in Europe. The chatter took on this tone of hawkishness that we just didn't see from the Fed last week. So here you've got some, some, some contrasting views on where to next, and that was very supportive of the euro in the event, as much as it might be. But uh, what strategically, what do you think is at play there? Just a priming of markets for, for less future stimulus from the ECB? Look, I think it is trying to manage market expectations. You're right. I mean, we did see the ECB uh, decrease its bond buying from 80 billion euros a month down to 60. Uh, you know, that's going to have an impact. It may, leaves more bonds on the table there. It's going to certainly have impact on yields. And uh, you would suggest that the commentary fo follows on from that, which is about a more normalisation of uh, quantitative easing in, in Europe. And, uh, you know, uh, that's not surprising, considering we've had uh, the US essentially in rate ride, rise mode now for uh, about 15 months. Mm -hmm. Across the Tasman, you know, this week the RBNZ is going to be also featuring. Are they going to be trying to talk down the local unit there? And do you detect on that measure, do you detect even now a, a bit of a gulf opening up between the RBA that may well have just given up on the game and thought, well, let, let's not even have a pretense of, of easing because we cannot fight the Fed, whereas the RBNZ, what, what might its approach be this week? Yeah, look, I think it'll be really interesting. Uh, you know, I think um, you're absolutely right. You know, the US is driving a lot of this, and it's, uh, the US has certainly taken some pressure. RBNZ has its own issues, and we could certainly see them having to make an adjustment to, uh, to rates in the near future. Um, I think Australia's in a different situation. I think, you know, they want to, you know, they want to stay steady as she goes. They would want to see the US uh, increase rates, um, you know, probably more. Uh, regularly than what they've anticipated at this point. Um, it's going to be interesting, and I, I think you're absolutely right. You know, they all do flow on, uh, you know, those flow-on effects do impact other central bankers, and they do have to take that into account. Mm. Simon, uh, good to talk. We will check in with you soon. All the very best for now. Just before we lose you, actually, let's just brief... Oh, can we bring him back? Maybe we can, maybe you can. Right.